What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something super exciting. We are going squid fishing in Seattle. We're going to a dock that overlooks the beautiful Seattle skyline and we're gonna be killing it with squid. So if you're in and around the Seattle area, you might know this already, but Seattle has been really, really red hot for squid fishing lately. So that's why we're gonna take a little bit of a break in this video from the regular salmon fishing, and we're gonna go catch some squid. And you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one, guys. So make sure you stay tuned until the end, because at the end of this video, we are going to be eating the squid that we catch live, raw on the dock. It's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna bring soy sauce. It's gonna be amazing. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. So if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, you might have noticed that I film a lot of my videos in that apartment. Recently, I moved into a house with Michael, who you've probably seen in a bunch of the other videos, but I have something really exciting I wanna show you guys that we've recently added to the house that I think you're gonna enjoy. Here we go. All right, so I'm here in my garage. I got Michael over here. He's setting up the squidding rods with us, but I really wanna show you guys this right here. This is a fishing rod rack, I guess, or holder that uh, Michael 3D printed. Let me show you guys real quick what, he, we, what we did here. So Michael pretty much did this whole thing, but he cut out <laughs> all this wood and then we mounted these little uh, 3D printed hooks to hold the rods on here. And then we put a bunch of our rods. Now this is just some of the rods that we have. Uh, it's not all of them, but I think it's a really cool addition. I think you guys might find it cool too. So <laughs> give the video a thumbs up if you liked uh, what we did here. So. We're gonna go out to the dock, just a sec here. We got our squid jigs. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to rig this setup and how to catch the squid once we get down to the dock. I hope you guys are just as excited for this video as I am. Uh, I can't wait, I love squid, it's delicious. Eating them raw is one of my favorite pastimes. We have soy sauce? <laughs> we have soy sauce, so. We have a knife? We have a knife. Okay. We're in business. Well, we don't have a squid yet. We don't have a squid yet, but we're gonna get a lot of squid, guys. We're gonna get a lot of squid, trust me. All right, so without further ado, be sure you sit back, relax, smash the thumbs up button if you guys like the video. Go, out, go down and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And without further ado, let's go. All right, one more thing I want to mention to you guys also. We have a secret location, not like the last video's secret location, but even more secretive than that, where we can catch chrome big coho. I'm talking like 10 to 20 pound coho, right? We can catch chrome 10 to 20 pound coho all the way through December and sometimes even into January. So if you guys want to see that video or more of those videos, you definitely want to make sure you go down and hit subscribe and stay tuned for that. All right, so we're heading over to the dock now to go squidding and uh, see you guys out there. So we made it down to the dock, uh, we just parked. And uh, as you guys can see, look how beautiful that this, this dock is with the skyline. It's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, you know, as you see, there's a lot of people here. So I got my mask on, I'm not trying to get the COVID. So I'm gonna put my mask up when I get over there closer to some people. But uh, basic setup today. We got like a nine, 10 foot rod. Purpose of that is that we want to uh, be out and away from the dock when we're jigging for these squid. And I'll show you guys exactly how it works. But I pretty much just have like six pound fluorocarbon mainline. And then that comes down to this little corky right here. Purpose of this corky is to uh, just be able to see where your line is in the water. Cause if you're fishing next to a lot of people, a lot of times it's easy to get tangled. Um, so that kind of prevents you from doing that. And then I just have two squid jigs. One's getting stuck on me, but it's got two squid jigs. They look like this. They glow in the dark sometimes. And the purpose of that is um, so that the squids can see in the dark, they're attracted to the light. But the squidding has been pretty good so far this year. So it's already it's been pretty good during the daytime. So we're gonna try. And then uh, they look, they kind of look like squid. So when squids see them, they try and mate with them. And when squid mate with each other, they interlock their tentacles. So instead of them, you know, locking their tentacles with another squid, they end up locking it with 
some hooks. So <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. So let's go, get, let's go ahead over there and catch some. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna take the squid over there to that station right there. And we're gonna clean some of it and we're gonna eat it raw with you guys, all right? So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Catch you on the GoPro. All right, change of plans. So uh, we ended up squinting there for maybe like 30, 45 minutes and it really sucked. So super shocked though, because everybody's been catching tons of squid, um, but not, not for us this time. So we drove like 30 minutes south. It's almost, it's almost nighttime, it's almost dark now because it's like 4.30 and in Seattle, at 4 30 in the winter it's dark out so we drove 30 minutes we came to a new pier and this time we're gonna kill it and this this particular pier i don't think has a cleaning station though for the squid so we're gonna get creative with either the the, the ocean water or with some fresh water from my water bottle but we're gonna clean this good we're still gonna eat them i promise stay tuned you're not gonna want to miss it this time i'm gonna catch you on the gopro in three two one <laughs> Yeah. Brian. What the heck? Montezello. You're the second one I met. Oh, yeah? I, did, I met Mike, too. Huh? What's your name? Uh, Brian Montezello. Oh, shit. I think I watched you. Dang. I don't have my phone. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. The guy that always is fishing the turning base in the Green River, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> That's cool, though. It's good seeing you guys. All right, guys, we're going down to where this guy has a light over here because they're killing it. We saw him from like all the way down to the end of the dock. So we'll see if we can. <laughs> steal some off their light but we're sharing we're sharing we're not uh we're not stealing we're sharing just turned the light on too so oh there's one here we go that's a big one. Dope little squid. Why? Got me all inked up in the bucket. Oh! <laughs> I felt pretty massive on this two, two jigged setup. There's another one. They're coming. They're coming. Right next to you. Over here too. What about, here we go. What about me? Here we go. Oh, there's a little one. Yeah, yeah. Slammed me. Two. Those are all, those are all jellyfish. Just go all the way down. Like where's the? Oh my God! Dude, dude. What? What? Oh, see him? Look, look! Oh yeah, yeah! Oh, they're out there though. They're out there. Pass, for, cast past them. You don't want to disturb, disturb them. Guys, there's a big school of squid right out there. We can see them. I don't know where they went. I don't know where they went though. Yeah. We missed it. I was too low. It was coming straight through. I just kept staring at them. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Here we go. Number three. Three to one. Such a cool, such a cool animal. Let me get my flashlight on so I can show you guys more up close how cool they look. So this whole thing kind of, when you pull them up, they got water inside them, obviously, because they're coming up like this, right? So <laughs> when they when they squeeze out like that, there's always a bunch of water that sprays on you. But they got these big old eyes. These big old eyes. Super cool. You guys have a good night? My shoes. <laughs> All the dirt on my white shoes. <laughs> oh! Oh, look at all the squid. Look at all those. There's a lot of squid right there. Turn around. Turn around. Right there, they just hang out. They're not moving. Wait, they turned around. Did they? 
They're right there. They're right there. Why'd you cross me, dude? Look, he's by, by, by his chick. See that? See that? Sorry. There's one right there. See it? There's a ton right here. Look, look, he's by, by his chick. See that? You see that squid? Yeah. I hope you guys could see that. It's cool as squid. That was so cool. Oh, oh, I lost him. I lost him. He bit though. Big old school. I think when you kind of like spook them, you know? Yeah, no, we all freak out. <laughs> Try and cast on them. Oh, they're right there. They're all right there. Right next to them. Come on. Sight fishing for squid. Oh, oh. Do you go for it? How do you swim by? Dude, why? Alrighty, boys. The GoPro just died. I'm not sure if you guys saw that school that I was... There was a giant school that came right in front of us. I don't know if you guys saw it. We were kind of like sight fishing for the squid. It was super cool. But we're going to do this a little bit longer. And then uh, cut up those squid and eat them with you guys. I'm excited for that. I'm pretty hungry. I haven't eaten lunch. I haven't eaten dinner, rather. <laughs> it's late. Last thing I ate was lunch. Here, squiddy, 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 squiddy. There's a little membrane in between. Did you know this? You Did you know this? We're talking to me. I'm talking to you. Oh, what? What did you say? There's a little membrane that attaches the the body, I guess, or the head and the guts to the to the backbone, or to the quill rather. Yeah. So I just stick my finger in there and I, I break it, yeah. and then I grab the whole head and I twist it around a little bit, gently, I and I wiggle it. Actually, maybe I didn't break it. I didn't break all the way back. Sever the whole thing. And then I twist it, and I pull out the whole guts, just like that. And then uh, take the quill out. And this is kind of like the backbone for the squid. It's kind of like plastic. Pretty cool. And then you can eat this whole thing. There's some, you probably want to clean out the inside. So let me get the knife. Take my knife and uh, watch, watch my fingers. <laughs> Just cut through it like that. And then you can open it up and clean out the inside. It's pretty good. And then you gotta get the skin off. So what I do is I just grab the wings and I separate the wing from the body and then I just start pulling. And it should come off in like one piece. Just like that. And there you go, there's a piece of squid. And you can eat that guy raw or you can cook it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I got a squid here. Uh, <laughs> the first few steps that Brian did were a complete waste of time. I'm gonna go all the way across the body, just like that all the way down and skip all those steps and bam there you go what what'd you do what, what the heck did you just do that was so fast i did it the easy way <laughs> rinse it quill comes out uh, just like that usually comes down in one piece that's okay i'm gonna rinse out the inside Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the outside, grab a corner of the skin, start peeling back. And then what I like to do, put my fingers in there, put some water in there, keep pulling. Wow. There you go. Look at yeah. that. They still got the wings on there too, that's pretty cool. I do have the wings on there, yep. You keep them on there. See, he's, he's really good at that one because <laughs> he's cleaned like... 200 squid in the past like month because he's been going every morning <laughs> so uh i don't typically keep that many squid because i don't want to cut to clean all them but 
you know, he's the he's the expert here. So Easy. there you go. There's still a little bit, of, little stuff there. Get that off. It's really up to you. Um, but this is definitely ready to eat. All right, so we're gonna take these squid now back over to those little picnic table. We're gonna just dip them in some ponzu sauce and we're gonna chow down. So I'll see you guys over there. It's so cold. All right, we got our squid here in our little cup and uh, got the rest of them laid out. So we got this, we got this ponzu, or I keep calling this ponzu sauce, it's poke sauce. We got this Kikkoman poke sauce. This is for poke. Um, we use this a lot with our salmon when we made our salmon poke throughout the season. But as you can see, it's really cold. <laughs> so I want to make this quick, but we're just gonna we're just gonna put some in here and we're just gonna eat it raw. If you guys have never tried this before, I highly recommend it. Obviously, be careful when you do this. Make sure that there's no like parasites. If you can see any, I guess I've never really seen anything like that in a squid before, but. Uh, just, you know, just be careful. I don't condone eating raw fish, but uh, I do this a lot. I've never had anything bad happen to me, and it's delicious. So I say you give it a shot. But I'm just gonna take this this poke sauce, and uh, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on on these guys like that. I think that's enough. Close it up. Look at this. My hands like shaking. It's so cold. <laughs> you gotta hurry. Okay. Now. Here we go. That's it. That's all you take. You know, I'm just gonna mix it around a little bit like that, and that's the uh, end result. I'm just gonna take a take a take a bite out of this. So good. A little chewy, but it's so good. It's so fresh. Like if you've ever had sashimi before, it tastes very similar to sashimi. And it's just very fresh tasting fish. And uh, hold on. <laughs> you want peach? I think we put a little bit too much poke sauce. It's very strong. Normally when I do this, when I come out here and I, and I, eat, I eat it raw, we use uh, soy sauce, but poke sauce also really good, but I would be a little bit skimpier on it than the soy sauce because it kind of overpowers the flavor of the, the, the squid. But really tasty. I had a really fun time filming this video with you guys today. It was awesome seeing some of you guys out here on the dock and coming saying hi. So if you've ever seen me out fishing, and you guys recognize me? I got, I got the squid still in my cheek. If you guys ever see me out fishing or squidding or whatever, come and say hi, I'm a friendly dude. It's really, really cool to see you guys come out here and uh, you know, be friendly and show your support for the channel, I love it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait for the next video. And until next time, tight lines y'all. <laughs>